get excited because this fall, MagSafe accessories are about to get a whole lot better. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and I am excited because Apple is about to make one of the biggest changes to the iPhone 15 and that is support for Qi 2. We first heard about Qi 2 earlier this year at CES 2023, and it's gonna have big ramifications for future iPhones and the robust third-party accessory market. See, Max 8 is great, you can do all sorts of things. I have a filming cage here from Moments that I use all the time for getting great shots on my iPhone. There are helpful mounts like this one from Belkin that you can use as an extra grip for your phone, but also can clip onto your monitor or your Mac so you can use your iPhone as a camera. There are battery packs. Of course, Apple has its own. This one is from ESR. that has got a kickstand in here, which is really handy, and a USB-C input rather than lightning. Uh, there are some cool car chargers out there. Uh, this is one from iAuty. It's got a metal body, clips on your vent, all using USB-C. Very sleek and cool. Um, then there's a ton of desktop chargers. Uh, this one is from Zen. It's a new four-in-one charger that holds your iPad, Apple Pencil, your Apple Watch, your AirPods, and of course a MagSafe charger for your iPhone. But there's a big distinction between MagSafe chargers and Qi chargers with magnets around them. They both connect to your phone the same way, but one of them is going to charge your phone at half the speed of the other one. See, officially certified MagSafe products have to go through Apple. They have to pay for the certification process and they have to buy the official components from Apple versus their other suppliers. This can greatly increase the cost of many made for MagSafe products. So that's why many third parties decide to go the cheaper alternative. They just use a Qi coil, put some magnets around it, and boom, you got a near MagSafe wireless charger that can just snap onto the back of your phone. The problem is those chargers can only charge at 7.5 watts versus the 15 of an official MagSafe charger. That's where Qi 2 comes in. Apple has contributed its MagSafe technology to the Wireless Power Consortium to be the foundation of Qi 2. So Qi 2 is essentially MagSafe. And beyond that, any Qi 2 charger will be able to charge any Qi 2 compatible phone at a full 15 watts of power. So we'll be able to see Qi 2 devices that don't have to go through Apple that can charge your phone at up to 15 watts. So what's that gonna mean for accessories? It means we should see even more wireless chargers come to market that can work with MagSafe and deliver the full necessary 15 watts of power and will know they're safe. These are all great things for the consumer, lower prices, safety, and a wider availability of products. It's unfortunate, but a lot of people just don't know the difference. Like this battery pack here, you know, it clips on the back of my phone. It, it seems like it would work same as any other MagSafe charger, but it's only charging at seven and a half watts. And Qi is far less efficient compared to MagSafe. So not only does this charge your phone slower, but it also is less efficient charging it. So you're losing even more power in the transmission process when compared to an official MagSafe power bank. Qi 2 can fix all of these problems for the iPhone 15 and subsequent iPhones. MagSafe is one of my favorite bits of technology that Apple has created in years. It works so well, there's so many different use cases for it, and both consumers and manufacturers really seem to embrace it, as is evidenced by the ridiculous number of MagSafe accessories that have been coming to market. And with this new adoption of Qi 2, everything should just fall in line. We'll have actual certified projects, products that are safe, efficient, and work with your phone flawlessly. Sure, I still think Apple might have its own made for MagSafe program so it can put that branding on the box, but I think by and large, this is gonna make a big deal and make a lot of accessories work a lot better starting later this year. Let me know what you guys think. Are you going to be picking up a new iPhone 15 and are you excited for Qi 2? Let me know in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Otherwise, stay tuned. Get a lot more videos heading your way.